Hi, welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. I'm Sonaka and the recipe that I'm showing you today is a roasted mushroom risotto. Let's quickly take a look at the ingredients. Arborio rice, vegetable stock, butter mushrooms, dried portini mushrooms soaked, dried shiitake mushrooms soaked, chopped garlic, chopped onions, white wine, fresh thyme, salt, fresh cream, butter, parmesan cheese powder, crushed black pepper. So the first step for making our roasted mushroom risotto is roasting the mushrooms for which I've got some shiitake and some porcini mushrooms which are dried and we've rehydrated them by soaking them in some warm water and I'm going to get these on a baking tray and the button mushrooms as well and we're going to roast this so for that I'm going to drizzle it with some olive oil and to this I'm going to add some crushed black pepper little bit not too much and some chopped garlic and the rest we're going to use for our risotto and I'm going to give this a good mix and I'm going to put this into a preheated oven and we're going to roast them for about 5 to 10 minutes or till the mushrooms are beautifully roasted so while the mushrooms are in the oven we're going to start preparing the risotto and first let's heat olive oil in a pan and once the oil goes nice and hot I'm going to add in the chopped garlic so let's add in some chopped garlic and once the garlic starts to sizzle we want it to go a little golden brown in colour before we can add in some chopped onions now that the garlic has gained some colour let's add in chopped onions so in goes a bowl full of chopped onions and now we're going to saute these till the onions go very light golden brown in colour as well next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in a small knob of butter into the pan we're going to use the rest of the butter later and I'll just give it a good mix and now we're going to add in the rice the risotto rice to this let's add in the rice now mix this around really well make sure all your rice grains are nicely tossed in the butter and the garlic and onions so now let's start with the adding of the stock and to make risotto you need to add the stock in small quantities so let's start with the first batch first I'm using vegetable stock here you could also use the water in which you rehydrate the mushrooms so let's just add in enough water to just completely cover the rice and now you want to cook this on a low flame till the rice has absorbed all of this liquid before we can add another batch of the stock now all the rice has soaked up all of the stock let's add in another batch so in goes some more stock and now I'm going to cook this for another 4-5 to five minutes until all of the stock is nicely absorbed so before we leave this to cook I'm just going to add in a hint of salt we are going to be adding a lot of parmesan cheese to it later so you could go easy on the salt right now but a little is important so the rice doesn't taste bland once it's cooked now it's time to add in the third batch of stock in goes give this a good mix and let it cook again so I've got my roasted mushrooms out of the oven and they are nice and crisp and they're perfectly roasted let's keep this aside for a bit and check on the how the rice is doing it's perfectly cooked at this stage looks perfectly cooked but I'm just going to take a bite hmm. the, the rice grains at this stage still have a lot of a bite in the center so I'm just going to add a final batch of stock and now we let this cook till it's perfectly done it's still al dente in the center but it's perfect to eat so another 5 to 7 minutes and the rice should be ready so now most of the liquid in the rice is absorbed at this stage I'm going to add in the mushrooms so let's get these beautifully roasted mushrooms in and let's save some for garnish as well make sure you get all the bits of garlic that are fried and turned a beautiful golden brown so in these go and give it a good mix And now it's time to add in a couple of other ingredients. Let's add in some fresh cream. It goes rather big spoonful. Give it a good mix. Let's add in some pepper. And I'm going to be flavoring this risotto with some thyme. So I've got some fresh thyme leaves with me here. Sprigs rather. And I'm just going to strip off the leaves and add it to this. Let's add in some more salt. I'm going to add in some wine, some white wine and I'm going to give this a good mix at this stage you could also add in a little more stock if you feel your risotto is going to dry but mine seems perfectly fine let's finally add in a small knob of butter 
to complete the risotto perfectly and give it a nice mix. Now you can turn this off the heat and get ready to serve it. So just before we serve the risotto, let's make it a little more delicious. Let's add in a sprinkling of some Parmesan cheese powder. Now let's transfer this into a serving plate. So now let's finish this off with some roasted mushrooms on top. Now let's sprinkle some more Parmesan cheese powder over this. And finally just a small sprig of thyme. So here it is, a really simple recipe for a roasted mushroom risotto. I've used three kinds of mushrooms here, but you could use whatever your favorite is. Make sure you try this recipe because it is a fabulous one. Hi, this is Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana and it is where you'll find a number of brilliant recipes. So if you really like the recipes and are learning something from them, make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button.